Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about advanced data grid view in C Sharp Visual Studio. So let's start. I have this empty project open and I have this empty window form in it. So now I will go to this tools and NuGet package manager and I will click on this manage NuGet package packages for solution now it will open this now I'll search here for advanced AD data grid view GV and now I'll search this now it has uh, searched this uh, library and now I will scroll down I will select this project and I will scroll down and install it okay now it is installed and now it is the readme text of this NuGet uh, advanced data grid view uh, library now I'll close it down and I will come to this form and now if I come to toolbox and search for advanced data grid view now you can see it here now I will drag it to this uh, window form and now I will expand it a bit and now I will add a data source to it I will click on add project data source now click on database and click next next and now here I will select this one now you will select your own database and click next and click next now here we will load the tables and the objects from the database now I'll, I want to use this bulk data table as a data source for this um, advanced uh, data grid view so I'll fi finish now data source is assigned to this data grid view now if I run this now it is running and we have this uh, data in this uh, data grid view now what is the power of this advanced data grid view why we use it because it has filters and we can use those filters in various places you can see here i can filter but right now the filter is not working because we have not used uh, the filter methods uh, for this data grid view if I unselect this and if I want to filter this 222 two, two, and if I click OK you can see it is not working so I'll close it I'll stop this and now I'll click on this and I will come to this uh, events I'll click on A to Z now I will search for filter string change here it is I will double click on this so it will automatically create the filter string now I will say bulk data binding source dot filter is equal to advance data grid view one dot filter string semicolon now we also have another method if I go to designer and uh, 
I search for sort so we can also use sorting in this advanced data grid view scroll change short string change and now here I will say dot sort is equal to advance dot sort string uh, string this one and I will put semicolon now if I run this now it is running let's check the sorting and the uh, filtering methods so if I sort it from A to Z you can see that is it is showing this and if I sort it from Z to A now it is showing the same because it is not changing and if I sort this one A to Z you can see that the sorting change and now if I sort it Z to A you will see that it is changed now we will use filtering effect now I will come here to this now I will unselect all and I want to filter only 7 and click OK now you can see the duration wherever the duration is 7 they are showing up now if I filter this one for only in call or out call unselect all and I will I'm going to filter only in call and click OK you can see that only n call calls are filtered into this data grid view so that's all for today i hope you like the video so if you like the video please like and subscribe and comment on my videos thank you